here we go. Round two of the parent function video. The first one I made had no sound, so an hour and a half later, I'm doing another one because it took that long for me to upload it to YouTube. Ugh. Um, so a quadratic function, remember quad means square in Latin, so a polynomial or a quadratic function, excuse me, is a polynomial function. Function, of course, meaning it passes the vertical line test of degree 2. These are also called parabolas. There are other quadratic function or quadratics, but they are not functions. So this uh, quadratic function is a parabola. And they look, in general, like this. Today we are focusing on those that involve just that part of the quadratic. So a parent function is the simplest function that represents a given function type. So we have studied lines this year, that kind of function. y equals x is the parent function. We've studied exponential functions. Here's an example of an exponential parent function. Remember, exponential functions have an exponent that is a variable. And now we are studying quadratic functions. So that is the parent function for a quadratic. And the main thing that I want you to get out of this lesson is what happens when we multiply x squared by some value. Zoom this in a little bit. All right. So the parts um, of a quadratic function, the axis of symmetry you should have found in your exploratory activity when, uh, and when a quadratic function is of the form y equals ax squared, and there's no um, linear term and there's no constant term, when these are not there, we found that the axis of symmetry equation was x equals 0. The vertex was 0, 0. The y-intercept was 0, 0, and that's because this is like saying plus bx plus c, but this is not there and this is not there, so b equals 0 and c equals 0. That right there is our y-intercept. Um, we'll talk about that some more, so if you didn't get that, it's fine. It's no big deal. We will talk about this some more as well. Let me slide this up on my stinking tablecloth. Um, how do we determine, determine whether the quadratic is wide or narrow? Um, if this value is bigger than 1 or less than negative 1, in other words, if the absolute value of A is greater than 1, the parabola is going to be narrower, or you might think of it as taller, because we're multiplying by a number that's going to make it bigger. And um, if the absolute value of A is between 0 and 1, that makes it wider. Or more specifically, you might think of it as making, it, as making um, the parabola shorter. And next, how do we determine whether it opens up or down? If that value that's in front of the x squared term, if the coefficient on the x squared term or the leading coefficient is positive or greater than zero, write positive down, we know that it opens up. If a is less than zero, in other words, if it's negative, we know that it opens down. So today in your homework, you're going to work with six problems, and they are going to be of the form y equals ax squared. Sorry, my screen just left. y equals ax squared, and we're only exploring what happens with um, the parabola 
Oh, crud. Bear with me for a second. There we go. That'll work. So what do we do? We First thing we do is we plot the vertex. Well, what's the vertex when it's in this form? Right up here. Zero, zero. Every single time. When it's of that form. And how are we going to get two other points? We're going to move one unit to the left from the vertex, from the vertex, and then A units up, that's if A is positive, or down, that's if A is negative. And we're also going to move one unit to the right, again, from the vertex, and A units up if it's positive, and down if it's negative. And I want to work through one example with you on the next page. And we'll do this one because this one t tends to throw people for a loop. If you were in class, I wouldn't baby you this much, but since you're at home trying to do this on your own, I'll give you an extra hint. Okay, the vertex we said when it's in the form y equals ax squared, a in this case is one-third. The vertex is going to always be zero, zero. And then from zero, zero, if we move one unit to the left, we will move up one-third of a unit. doesn't have to be perfect. So that was negative one, one-third. And one unit to the right, and up a third. Whoops, oh, I do not like it when I do that. So here is our parabola. The, equa the axis of symmetry is right here. It's the y-axis, so it has equation x equals zero. And the y-intercept, the spot where it crosses the y-axis, is zero, zero. So there you go. That's today's video on the parent function.